Hi guys and girls, I'm Reefman, and this is the Pax Bellum Arid C30 Allergy Reactor. I previously had a Pacific Sun AR Pro Allergy Reactor, and I had some trouble with, um, with it leaking around the bottom, uh, leaking around the top, I fixed a bunch of stuff, um, just not a good experience. So enough is enough, we upgraded to the sort of Rolls Royce of Allergy Reactors, the Pax Bellum series. Um, since I have a large tank, I got the C30, the C30 is rated for anywhere between 250 to 500 gallons, and my total system gallon is about 288, so this should do well. The retail price for this was uh, $13.95, with everything all included. I bought it from Unique Coral. Um, I think you get the same experience from Manhattan Reef, which also sells these uh, units, and I can't say enough about how well it shipped. You can see this unit is just 30 inches tall from top to bottom. Um, so it's not a, a small reactor, but it's not humongous either. There was more than enough room for this to move around in it. It was all full of uh, styrofoam peanuts. It was double box. Uh, this does seem to have pretty thick acrylic all the way around. You can see the, dist the, um, the thickness of this. It's almost as thick as my, as my uh, finger here. Um, easily quarter inch or probably even more than that uh, acrylic plates for the top and also from the bottom. I don't know about the, the, uh, the cylinder itself. You can't ever see a end view of the cylinder, but I suspect that it's probably also just the same thickness as these bits here. Some nice things that came with this, um, they did provide a, a little hex tool. It's a WIA tool. It's actually made in Germany. It's a name brand tool. What kind of company gives you name brand tools to work on their, their products? Um, Pax Bellum does at least. Um, this is important because the screws on top that you have to loosen up are not the normal sort of thumb screws that we get all the time. They actually are uh, hex nuts. And so you need a hex tool to open them. Um, other interesting things that this came with, um, Pax Bellum recommends that you dose uh, both iron um, and also nitrogen and molybdenum so that your allergy has these things to grow. Um, I think that they recommend that you keep your nitrogen level uh, instead of, you know, we go for nitrates as low as possible, right? But things do need nitrates to grow and especially allergy needs nitrogen to grow. It's, uh, you know, in the air, 70% of the air or so is nitrogen, things use it. Um, so your allergy in water also needs it. They recommend anywhere from 30 parts nitrogen to one part phosphate, all the way up to 100 parts nitrogen to one part phosphate in your water. Um, and then they recommend that you dose iron um, daily as well. But I wanted to show you this before I got it in my tank. It's pretty cool. It works well. Um, one interesting thing about the inside, I can show you. So the inside is like so. But you can see there's actually red and white LEDs all the way down. Um, I thought that was interesting. Plants definitely like the red wavelengths uh, better than the white wavelengths that we like. Uh, it's better for photosynthesis, so I think that'll be a great thing. One thing that I noticed that is different right away, uh, this has a metal heat sink in it on top of it. The AR Pro has no heat sink uh, on it. And the AR Pro actually has a plastic core around which the LEDs are wrapped. This core is metal. And not only that, but I was reading in their information sheet, it's actually a heat pipe. It's vertical and the vapor that's inside of it boils off where the LEDs are, rises up to the top, condenses where the um, heat sink is, and then rains back down and repeats. So it transports heat away from the LEDs much more efficiently than say, just a copper rod would, and much more efficiently than uh, for sure an acrylic rod would actually do. Now I have seen recommendations to switch out the center core, the LED part of this, um, on almost a yearly basis. The documentation that I got with this unit didn't mention that as sort of recurring maintenance, but I have seen that online and the cores are only, I think, 30 bucks to replace. Another interesting thing that they provide here 
is these quick disconnects. Now, if you get the smaller version of the Pax Bellum, the N series instead of the C series, the quick disconnects don't actually come with the unit. You have to buy them separately. Um, since it's a larger unit, it's more likely to be remote from your tank, uh, further away, heavier, harder to move. So they provide these quick disconnects so that you can just leave your, um, your plumbing directly on your tank. They work pretty cool. You pull back on the red and then having the red pulled back, it unlocks the whole thing and you can just remove it right away. Uh, it's very easy to use, um, works, works really well. It's a nice feature that they've provided on the C-Series, and then it locks right into place. Just push the red back. So that's a first look at the Pax Bellum Arid C30. I hope you enjoyed it.